Hello and back again to more news about Driven by Moss. Currently I just released version 7.2 and together with 7.1 the big news there was we have now user modes. So user modes are now available for the Push 1 and 2 for the Launchpad Pro, the generic Flexi and OSC. What are user parameters and why do we need that? So the difference to the remote control parameters is that you can map any parameter in Bitwig to a user parameter and put those neatly together in a bank. So this is quite handy. For example, if you do live gigging and want to have, for example, the volume of track five and the filter cutoff of track six together for fiddling and that's the only stuff you want to change in their song. And you can store that with every song differently. So you can do different user parameter assignments for each song. So as I said, very handy for live use. And yeah, let's take a look at that, how that works. So here with the push to on the top you have the user button so we press the user button and as you will see you get now in a very empty looking mode. There we are pages 1 to 8 so we have 8 pages up to 8 parameters which makes 64 parameters which you can map. How does it work? Simply click in Bitwig with the right button on any element you like to map. Let's say for example here on the third track we want to map to controller or key. So after you did that, simply now move here a knob here, let's say that one, and you have now mapped the volume to that knob. And you also don't have to do that with the first, or second, third, you can choose any knob you like. So for example, let's say we want to put now here the filter cut off of the polysyn also to a knob, let's say move here that one, and we have here the filter frequency. The only little drawback with that is that you see here it's just the name of the parameter I have. I cannot show a track name or anything. So if you map multiple volumes, for example, let's map also track four here to controller key, move the knob here. You see both unnamed volumes. So this is something I cannot change or I cannot make anything about it. It's like it is, but nevertheless, I think you can deal with that. And you can map also the other pages as well. This works in a similar way. And I thought let's put another handy feature in there. So we have here buttons on top and I thought why not toggle between the minimum and the maximum value. So if I click it now it has a maximum volume, click it again it has the minimum volume. I think this can be handy or same here with the frequency, same here. So you can apply that as well. Where can you find those settings here in Bitwig in your document if you click here on the pointer. This is also handy if you want to map multiple ones. You can just click somewhere, you can also click on solo or mute and you see that here in the right part you have those different settings. You can also modify the behavior for example you can modify here the speed of the change or you can also set a range. So let's switch to the push one. Same here you find the user mode here on the right part. Same as with the push uh, two we select the parameter let's say here the volume. Let's move the volume and you have it mapped so exactly the same. And moving on to the Launchpad Pro. Also the Launchpad Pet Pro has a user button. If I press the user button, it looks similar. It looks empty. So you have now also 64 parameters which you can map. So you have your eight parameters here and with the scene knobs, you can switch to the different pages of the bank. So you get up to 64 and it also works the same. Again here, let's say map to controller, touch a column and now you control here the volume of it. With the generic flexi, it's also the same. I have here an instance of a generic flexi running, and in the settings, you can now select here the new user options, and there you can map the expected parameters. So you have the eight faders or knobs you can map for editing your parameter, and you can map two buttons to a previous page or the next page. So you can also get here up to 64 parameters. And last but not least with OSC it's exactly the same. The names of the OSC commands are the same as with parameters just starting with user. And I also updated here the template that comes with the download for open stage control. And you see there is now a new tab called user. And if you go there you also have here empty space for the 64 different parameters. And it's 
also the same. Let's give that a try too. Let's say map to controller key, move one, and now you can also nicely change your selected parameter with it. Yes, yeah, so much for user modes, lots of user modes, and don't beg for user modes in other devices. I checked all of the devices I support. If that makes sense to put a user mode in it, it's those four. And yeah, make some funky music.